with CBSC NCRT solutions chapter 8 introduction to trigonometry exercise 8.1 question number 5 the, the question is it is given to us that secant of theta is equal to 13 divided by 12 calculate all other trigonometric ratios now let's suppose we have a right angle triangle ABC right right angled at C and angle B is equal to angle theta here so we are given secant theta is equal to 13 divided by 12 it is given to us in the question now we know that secant of any given angle is equal to hypotenuse divided by adjacent side now the hypotenuse in this triangle is AB and adjacent side to angle theta is equal to BC and it's given equal to 13 divided by 12 so the ratio of AB to BC is equal to 13 divided by 12 from this information we can suppose length of let length of side AB equal to 13 K and let length of BC equal to 12 K it can be any number of it can be 13 K units it may be in centimeters meters kilometers or so just for like generalization we can write 13 K units so from length of AB and BC we can find length of AC using Pythagoras theorem so applying, Pyth applying Pythagoras theorem on this triangle ABC we can write AB square is equal to BC square plus AC square and we have AB is equal to 13 K and now putting the values we will get 13 K square equal to BC is 12 K square plus AC square now from here we get AC square equal to 13 K square minus 12 K square it's equal to 169 K square minus 144 K square so from here we get 25 K square so AC square is equal to 25 K square now square rooting on both sides we get AC equal to 5 K units now we can find all trigonometric ratios from this information now let's start with sine sine of theta is equal to sine of any given angle is equal to opposite side divided by divided by hypotenuse now opposite side to angle theta is AC and we have hypotenuse equal to AB now AC is equal to 5k and value of AB is 13k so this k and k gets cancelled and we get sine theta is equal to 5 divided by 13 now we know that cos of theta is reciprocal of secant of theta so and we are given the value of secant theta so, so we can directly write value of cos theta equal to 12 divided by 13 because it is the reciprocal of secant of theta now tangent of theta is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side now opposite side to theta is AC and adjacent side is BC so I get AC divided by BC AC divided by BC is equal to now opposite side AC is 5k and BC is equal to 12k this k and k gets cancelled so I get tangent theta is equal to 5 divided by 12 now I have sine cos and tangent and I, I already have secant theta now I am remaining with cotangent of theta cotangent of theta is reciprocal of tangent theta so I can directly write cotangent theta is equal to 12 divided by 5 and I'm also left with cosecant of theta and cosecant of theta is equal to 
reciprocal of sine theta and we have value of sine theta is equal to 5 divided by 13 so i can write cosecant theta is equal to 13 divided by 5 so the, these are the rest of the trigonometric ratios and that's about question number 5 chapter 8 introduction to trigonometry exercise 8.1 in the next video i'll be covering chapter 8 introduction to trigonometry exercise 8.1 question number 6 see you guys